So we got this Italian spaghetti and zucchini started. And the first thing you want to do is chop up some uh, onions, zucchini of course, and some garlic. That if you put a little olive oil on your fingers, you will see that they peel off a lot easier and they don't stick to your fingers as you're, here you try that, as you're peeling the garlic away from the, yeah. there we go, the garlic will not stick to you. Now the reason I thought I said earlier about the active ingredients of garlic, which um, are really an amazing, amazing um, health benefit, antibacterial, antiviral. It happens five to seven minutes after the garlic has been crushed. Now, do you cook the garlic and keep those nutrients? The answer is no. I have become more intelligent about how I use my garlic, and that is, I crush it, I leave it like that, and then after everything else is cooked, I introduce my garlic to the, um, to the rest of the mix that I have here. And the garlic can go either now or later. On top of the garlic cheese. And grated cheese? Okay, so we're working with uh, the cheese. professional Italian nonno came all the way from Italy to give us some tips on how to make uh, spaghetti with zucchini. And so the last ingredient would be the Parmichal, Parmesan cheese. Abundant. Parmesan cheese. Abundant. Yeah. And we have here the um, Parmesan cheese right there. We have the adobo, all-purpose, oregano, garlic, black pepper, onion, and uh, Himalayan pink salt. These are all good ingredients to add to this mix. As you will see, and I know you cannot, but sometimes I do, smell it through the video because you know it is that delicious. So that's what I do. So the garlic is kind of ready. I leave it right here until the garlic is ready to be introduced. And I do that last because that way you don't burn away the nutrients. So I do that last. You agree with that, Nono? That's a good idea, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So then if I turned up the, yeah, turned it down a little bit, it's probably a good idea to put a lid on that because when you put a lid on your vegetables when they're cooking, you save all the nutrition from getting expelled into the air. Yep. And it steams at the same time, yep. So there's that. Now, we have a little salad that might go on the side, which has carrots and beets, lower blood pressure, and um, some lettuce. But we're soon gonna watch the pro at work, Mommy, who is going to put the seasonings on the um, zucchini and the onions. She is my seasoning expert in the house. I need more. More what? Oil. Let me get the oil. There we go. Okay. Let me know when. Okay. It's enough? Just gotta... You have to have enough oil to, um, to allow the mix to get some saturation and get the taste of the olive oil. So there's the cochinera doing her best basting with olive oil, onions, and zucchini. Now, a little Himalayan pink salt. Some pepper. That we have just crushed. 
ourselves. So you see those large granules from having done the uh, crushing here at the house. So this spaghetti and zucchini, what's next? You got the salt, pepper, garlic powder is next. There you go. And the oregano. So there's a little garlic powder right there. Just a layer of each. A layer of each. That's oregano. Nothing spicy, right? Nothing special? Hey, no, no, can you get the spaghetti? Remember I showed you what the spaghetti is? No, no, it's going to get the spaghetti. It's in here. Yeah. I got to get all the pila to last time, I guess, I don't know the jacket. So Nono's going to get the spaghetti behind that little door there. Hold on, Nono, right up there. See, there's one, two, three, one right here. Fettuccine. There's the fettuccine. Yeah. So here we go with the fettuccine because I believe that's a good one. But Nono has what else, Nono? You have another fettuccine? That's a linguine. Linguine, it's the same thing. So you got linguini, fettuccini. I think they just call them by different names, but it's pretty much the same thing. And I probably need one more, which I will look. I'll get another. Is it? No, that's not enough. I'm hungry. <laughs> I haven't eaten all day. Yes, really. Hold on. We got this. Fettuccine. Here we go. More fettuccine. We got everything we need right here on the shelf. And this is the way to go. So linguine, fettuccine, the garlic powder, the oregano, the onion, pepper, Himalayan salt, adobo. And Nono said he needs some Parmesan cheese. So the Parmesan is afterwards. It's afterwards, right? So the mix is starting to look pretty good. I would throw these in there and save some for me. The garlic. Some people like them cooked. I like them better uncooked because it has better nutritional value if it's raw. So that's it. It cooks. The water is boiling. We got a lot of these. Okay. Um, yeah. Now you put the spaghetti in the water and you're done. You cook them to taste and the day and the night hopefully goes better because you had a nice spaghetti dinner with Nonna and Nonna all the way from Italy. With the right ingredients, you can make dinner taste great at night. Have a great day. From Johnny V, Green Thumbs Chronicles.